So here we have the system of inequalities, x is less than 3 and y is greater than negative 2. And our first step is still the same as in a previous example. We have to graph these just like we would a normal line. Um, so if we had the equation x equals 3, that means that every point, it doesn't matter what our y value is, but our x has to equal 3. Um, so we can plot the point uh, 3, and it, the y value can be anything, so I'll just pick 0. And I'll pick another point, um, 3, and once again, our y value can be anything, so I'll pick uh, negative 2. So notice how our x values have to be 3, and our y values you can pick to be anything. So I'm going to plot my two points, 3, 0, and 3, negative 2. And because there is no equal sign underneath the less than symbol, when I connect those two points, it has to be a dashed line instead of a solid line. So now I have plotted the line for the inequality x is less than 3. Um, so now let's do the same exact thing for the inequality y is greater than negative 2. So I'm going to plot this just like I would a normal equation, y equals negative 2. So if y equals negative 2, that means that our x value can be anything, but our y value has to be negative 2. So I'll pick an x value of just 0, because our x can be anything. And I'll pick another point. I'll pick an x value of 1, because our x can be anything. And our y value has to be negative 2. So once again, for the equation y equals negative 2, your y value has to be negative 2, but your x value can be anything. So now I'm going to plot my two points. I'm going to plot my point 0, negative 2. And I'm going to plot my point 1, negative 2. And once again, because there is no equal sign underneath the inequality symbol, when I connect these two points, I'm going to make a dashed line instead of a solid line. So now I have plotted my line for the inequality y is greater than negative 2. So our next step is we need to test which of the four areas makes both inequalities true. So I'll call this area to the bottom right of both lines. I'll call that area number one. I'll call the area to the top right of both lines. I'll call this area number two. I'll call the area in the top left of both lines. I'll call this area number three. And I'll call the area in the bottom left of both lines. I'll call this area number four. So what I want to do is I want to test and see which area makes both inequalities true. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test area number three. Okay, so I can pick any point in area number three that's not touching either of the two lines. So I'll pick an easy point. The origin is always an easy point. So I'm going to pick the point zero, zero. This is going to be my test point. And I'm going to use the point zero, zero to test area number three and see if it makes both inequalities true. So my test point has an x value of zero and a y value of 0 as well, so I'm going to plug those into my inequality. First I'll start with the inequality x is less than 3. My x value for my test point is 0, so I'm going to plug in a 0 for x is less than 3. 0 is certainly less than 3, so my test point certainly makes my first inequality true. And once again, my test point has a y value also of 0, so I'm going to plug in a 0 for my y in my second inequality. So 0 is greater than negative 2. 0 is certainly greater than a negative number. So my test point also makes the second inequality true. So since our test point makes both inequalities true, every point in area number 3 makes both inequalities true. So what we need to do is we need to color in every point in area number 3. And because area number 3 makes both inequalities true, we can stop. We don't need to test any of the other areas. We know that they're not going to work. 
all of the other areas will make at least one of the inequalities not true. So we can just stop and this is our final answer. So this is what the final graph of this system of inequalities should look like. I hope this video helped you understand graphing systems of inequalities just a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please feel free to go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like my style of teaching and you want to see some more of my videos, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter. Uh, that way you can see my videos as soon as I upload them. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.